So what I have right here is a large box. This box is from Ontario, from someone I know through Instagram. Um, his name is Chad Mullins of Mullins Ask. Uh, <laughs> Mullins Axe Works. Some stickers and bit, oh, is that stickers? Decals, stickers. Yeah, I think they're stickers. I think there might be window stickers or something. There's the logo. It's a pretty cool logo, actually. And here are some business cards. Um, he does a fairly brisk, I take it, business in axe restoration. And what I got here is some cool stuff. Now, I know what you're asking. Jesse, Christmas is coming. What the hell are you doing buying yourself stuff? But there's the secret. I didn't just buy this. It <laughs> took a while to get here. And I don't think it's all for me, but more on that in a minute. I'm going to need more knife work here. First one. Little Walter's Black Diamond. Okay, no sheath. Uh, it's not a straight, it's not a sharpened edge or anything. Um, man, it's cool though. Look at that little guy. It's an original handle. In fact, I still see a little touch of the uh, Walters white paint on there. Is there any more of a, no. The scroll, the scroll mark is gone, but uh, that's probably a cigarette burn. <laughs> Considering how old these, these, uh, these Walters are. And this is a black diamond. Can you see that? Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but when I saw he, he had it available, because as you guys know, Walters is my gem, and Black Diamond is like my own white whale, or whatever that term is. Let's get this, this crap out of the way. I'm going to put that right there, and I'm probably just going to keep looking at it. <laughs> Next. Really, Chad? Jeez. Look at that. The, the packaging is actually pretty well done. It's all just newspaper, but, you know, everything was heavily packaged. Wrapped in, uh, it's not gaffer's tape. What's it called? Packing tape? Look at that guy. Another Walters. I find that Walters generally, in this size, have a, a very distinct head shape. In fact, I wonder, is my... Is my Walters? Yes, it is. Here's the one that I did, right? It's probably still my favorite restore, actually. You, you see, like, that head shape? I wonder if they're the same. No, not quite. Not quite. Um... It's interesting how the handles don't feel exactly the same. Like this, this is the nicest axe handle I've ever held. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I almost went into Joe's neon territory there again. I'd like to go camping with that guy one day. Our taste in beer is really different, but he's such a nice guy. But that's not the one I'm supposed to be showing off. I just, man, I can't keep my hands off of this one. I did a really good job on that, and I'm so glad I, I saved the original handle. Uh, so this Walters also has an original handle on it. There's, like, just traces of that white paint. Again, this roll mark's been sanded off, but, you know. It's not a, it's not a bad grain orientation. Again, it's not sharpened. More on this one in a minute. This I can't wait to see. Want to see what I got? I 
can't wait to get this this leather off of this. You guys know how long I've wanted a double. This is something else. This isn't just a double. Oh, it's tight. I'll fix that through years of taking it off and putting it back on. Okay, there we go. You ready for this? Norland, baby. Little Norland saddle cruiser. I don't know. I don't think that's like it, it's a vintage handle, but I, I I don't think they came with all this. So someone probably did that later. I, I don't really remember um, ever seeing that on one of these before, but I think it's pretty cool. Yep. There's a story behind this. I keep looking off there. There's a story behind this, which is kind of ridiculous. See, I bought this by accident. A couple of months ago, um, it's like 11 at night or something, and boop, up comes a, you know, uh, an Instagram message. And it's, it's Chad pointing me to an auction he's holding for this. And um, the auction was like, each bid is f five bucks more than the previous. Um, didn't have a lot of money at the time, but I figured, look, I'll just, I'll just toss a bid over, you know, to help get the price up. So I, I went over, I beat the previous bid by five bucks, went to bed, thinking all's right in the world. I've just helped him pump the price up. Um, I've always wanted uh, a Norland, especially if I could have one, the little saddle cruiser, you know. I'm not much into Hudson Bay style axes, and that seems to be what, what most people have, but uh, yeah, <laughs> anyway, but um, I just figured, you know, it's, it can't hurt to, you know, to throw a bid down, so I did. I went to bed and thought nothing of it. There were still like another 12 hours left on the auction or something. Woke up the next morning. Boop, another message. Hey, you won my auction. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but, you know. So the bad news is I really wasn't looking to spend that kind of money on anything. But the good news is I got one of my bucket list axes for an unbelievably good price. So... You know, it all sort of shakes out in the wash or whatever that <laughs> that statement is. I mean, I've paid it off now. You know, I, I paid the credit card back for it. Um, but um, generally speaking, his his prices are very good. You know, uh, these axes are, are nice. Like he doesn't. I don't know if he does or not. I was gonna say he doesn't do like any other sort of, you know, take it down to a full gloss. I. I don't remember. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's wrong. I don't really remember. And I'm using my phone right now to film this, so I can't really check the Instagram. But he he does have man the guy. He comes up with some really nice axes, like some expensive stuff. I don't know where he finds his his stuff, but he's got he's got good taste in axes. Um, he does like a lot of his restores are not like you know like there's still a. I've said like way too often in this video. But anyway, we're just going to move on. Actually, you know what? This wee hatchet has a completely different profile than I'm used to on a Walters. Like, this one felt, you know, right? Very narrow. But even that, it's not the same as my... Like this guy, take a look at this sweetheart, man. This is the one that I did. Look at how, s you know, it's a laser. Like it's almost as narrow as my Grants first, you know? 
This one is a little bigger. They're not exactly the same, right? This one's got a bit more of a boat tail on it and everything. I'm trying to get them, you know, but they're, they're the same style of head. This one's a little more wedgy at the back. But this little guy, this guy's wedgy all the way through. Look at that. This guy's probably going to be a really good little kindling splitter. I keep looking off to the microphone for some reason. Man, I like this little guy. And it's a black diamond. Ugh. Yeah, but the reason I bought this one is I'm uh, going to give it to one of you guys. <clears throat> I've said in a previous video that Excuse me while I scratch. I've said in at least one previous video that I've been very fortunate for the past couple of years. Um, some of you guys have sent me some really cool axe heads to, to play around with. Um, I did pass one of them on to my buddy Rob. You remember the, the German axe head? Which, man, that was a cool axe head. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but that was sent to me by my buddy Eric out in Saskatchewan. He comes across some cool stuff, too. But anyways, I've been very fortunate in, in terms of what I've received from this community over the past year. So I'm going to give something back. Uh, let's call this my drive to 2,500 subscribers. When I hit 2,500, I'm going to do a giveaway, and this is going to be the, the, the prize. I don't believe I'm about to say this, but I'll send it anywhere, provided it's not like a $500 shipping charge. Okay. I don't know what the contest uh, or I don't know what the giveaway details are going to be yet because I'm not near 2500 but yeah I'm going to I'm going to do that. Man, he did a good job on this handle. Like he re he took down the um what do they call it the ninja edge or whatever. You know on a lot of axes um how it sort of comes like this right at the head. Hold on, let me get another one. Yeah, this one kind of does it, but not too bad. I think, you know, I think I, I really did, left the ninja on this one. Yeah, this one's got like a, like a ledge there. And the problem with that is it can create a, a weak point that over time, you know, you're, you're wailing on wood and stuff. You don't really do it like that, but I have no room here. Um, a lot of axes break there. You, you get splitting right there because because of that anytime you get sharp angles in something like this it's a weak spot you know so i'm glad to see that chad took that right off this is smooth like phew, right in there it's pretty good it's a pretty good handling job all around actually i like this axe i already regret saying i'm going to give it away but I'm, that's what i'm going to do um you guys help me hit 2500 share my stuff and uh, I'm going to give this away. Wow, it's so nice. Look at that. I don't think that's a vinegar job. I think that might just be wire brush. The uh, maker's mark is still fairly clear. Walters. Walters was based in Hull, Quebec. At one point, as you guys have probably heard me say, the Walters Axe Company was the largest axe company in the British Empire. I guess by the time they went out of business, it was transitioning to the Commonwealth. That's an okay um, grain for for something this size. It it doesn't you know it's a much much smaller issue than if it was something mall sized. You know, in fact, it's it's better than than this one. <laughs> is it better than this one? Whew, no, this one is just about 90. Ah, you probably can't see it, but it's this one's really good. It's funny because this is the one where that's the least important. But anyways, it's a nice collection of stuff. Um, this is obviously the the king of the bunch, and. That one, that one's for one of you guys, once I hit 2,500, so help me hit the 2,500 so I can give this away.
okay? Which in fact segues really nicely into, you know what I'm gonna say. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, then please, please, please get the conversation going in the comment section below. Share the video, subscribe if you're already subscribed, hit that little bell, and leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.